Hey, what's up guys? I, I'm Nick White. That is my name. You might be able to see that in my channel name or whatever, but I am doing the all the Lee Code and Hack Rank problems. Please subscribe. Check the description for my information. I do the premium problems on my Patreon and I got a Discord. Um, this problem is called Sort Colors. So, it's got a lot of likes. So, um, given an array with N objects, red, white, or blue colored red, white, or blue, sort them in place, so in place sorting, uh, so that the objects with the same color are adjacent. Okay, so all the red ones are next to each other, white ones are next to each other, and blue ones are next to each other, uh, with the colors in order of red, white, and blue. Okay, great. Uh, here we will use integers 0, 1, and 2 to represent red, white, and blue. 0, 1, 2, red, white, blue. Bars. Okay, now you're supposed to use the, you're not supposed to use a library sort function. Okay, that makes, that's fair, that's fair. So what's an in-place sorting method? I mean, we got, you know, merge sort is not in place, but quick sort is. So, yeah, it's, I mean, I already did it. It's like quick sort related. Uh, it's a little bit of a twist, but um, we'll just, we'll just go through it and I'll explain it. Basically, the idea is move all of the zeros to the front move all the twos to the back, and then the ones will automatically end up in the middle if you follow those two rules. Um, yeah, that's basically it. So it's not too hard. Uh, you should be able to get this pretty easily. So uh, for if nums.length, oh yeah, here's an example too. Two has to go to the back because they want them all touching. So they want the zeros at the front, the ones in the middle, and the two at the twos at the back. They'll have to be touching there. Okay, there you go. There's your example. Um so nums.length is equal to zero or nums.length is equal to one. We'll just return. This is a void method, so very nice. Um, we're gonna, it says two pass algorithm using counting sort. No, we're using one pass. We're faster than that. We're gonna be doing this. Okay, so we're gonna need an index pointing to the start. We're gonna need an index pointing to the ending element. And we're gonna need an index i for our current element. Okay, so I'll explain this. We could use the word index, I like that. So, while um, index is less than or equal to end, meaning we're not at the last index, and start is less than end, meaning we're in the right boundaries here and we're not you know, shrinking our array, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use start to keep track of you know, putting zeros at the front. We're gonna use end to keep track of putting twos at the back. And then index will just move along to the current number. It's, re it's pretty easy, so pretty easy, honestly. So if nums of index is equal to zero, then we swap to the front. So we say um, nums of index is equal to nums of start. So we swap those, and then we do nums of start. We would say nums of index, but it, we just know it's going to be a zero. And then uh, start plus plus index plus plus. So what this does is you have your starting pointer at the first number, and if we see a zero at any point, we will just, so when we see uh, index is just moving along, we have index moving, we're going number by number through this array. When we see a zero, we have this start variable that's just gonna sit and wait to move zero. So it's gonna sit at the beginning of the array, and we'll just swap to the beginning. Great. Um, else if nums of index, is equal to two, then all we have to do is um, nums of index is equal to nums of end. Nums of end is equal to two, and end minus minus. We're not gonna move the index forward for this, and I'll explain that in a second. And if it's a one, we move our index forward. Okay, so this is it. I mean, that's it, it's pretty easy. There you go, faster than 100%. Great, one pass solution, very simple. Um, you just have a pointer. So what, it, what are these variables gonna be doing? The starting index is going to sit at the front of the array. So here's a sample. The starting index will sit at the beginning of the array and it will move along whenever we see a zero, right? The ending index will be at the end and the ending index will move towards the middle of the array when we see a two. So these variables keep track of the next place a zero needs to go if we see one. So start would be here, but we see, we see a zero right away. So start gets incremented, right? Now start is here. Start sits at the next 
spot a zero should go at the beginning of the array. If we don't see a start, if we don't see, and then what we're going to do is we're going to see one, we're going to see one, then we see a new zero, we swap with start. So start always just sits where the next zero should go. End always sits where the next two should go. So right here we see... Um, Here's, here's the reason that we don't do uh, index plus plus right here is because, for example, when we see the zero, we will, or when we see a two, I had this in my head a second ago. I don't even remember now. I was blank. When we see a two, we want to swap it to the back. And then, oh, yeah, 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 sorry. When we see a two, we want to swap it. The end stays here, but um, we swap it, and then we don't increment because we could swap twos from the back. Here's the reason. We could swap twos. You know, when we swap to the last index, it could be a two, it could be a zero, it could be a one, it could be anything. We have not seen that yet. So... We're, it's the unknown. So we don't want to increment the index because we want to do another loop and check what we swapped. You know, you could swap a zero here. So if we swapped a zero to the end, we see a two. We swap the two and the zero. We don't want to keep moving because that would be wrong. We want to stay here, make sure we swap that zero up there. So that's why we don't increment the index. We already know I, I is moving faster than start. So we already know what we're swapping I for. We're swapping I for... A one, if we saw a two, it would have been put in the back. We're either swapping for, we're just swapping for a one. So I gets incremented here. Index keeps getting incremented here because we're putting the ones in the middle. But at the end, we don't increment the index because we don't know what we're swapping. So we have to wait, do another loop and make sure we're not swapping back into a zero or, you know, whatever. So, you know, hopefully that makes sense to you guys. You know what I mean? Um, I think I explained it pretty well. Sorry about the pause. I just, I have like brain pauses sometimes. Uh, I think it's because like, I'm like, you know, I just want to finish this video. And then I think that in my head while I'm doing it, I'm like, please don't mess up. Please don't mess up. And then you mess up. So I got to get out of that. But thanks for watching. Let me know if you don't get anything. But um, yeah, pretty good problem. Pretty cool. Pretty easy for medium. Um, see you guys later.